Hey y'all, it's Paige. Today I'm going to show you how I straighten my hair. So if you want to see how I get these results, then just keep watching. Now you're going to start with clean hair. The first product I'm going to show you is the Super Skinny Serum by Paul Mitchell. I use this for frizz. The next one is Fast Form. I use that to speed up the drying process. And this is Mark Anthony's Moroccan Argon Oil. I use that for some nourishing. And this is the Aveda Damage Remedy. I use that to protect my hair from any heat damage. And this is the Aveda Brilliant Finishing Gloss. I like to use this for some added shine. <laughs> right there I'm showing you. Um, I did actually color my hair on this day. So there is a little bit of residue from the color on my hairline. As you see, I am at the end of this Super Skinny Serum. It is my favorite product ever. Like I said, the Fast Form product, it just helps um, speed up the drying time so it doesn't take nearly as long to do my hair. And this Damage Remedy, like I said, is to keep my hair protected from all the heat I'm getting ready to put on it. And this emollient finishing gloss is going to give it some added shine and also help me with the entire smoothing process. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my wet brush and just detangle everything and make sure all that product is evenly distributed. And go in and start to section off my hair to make the drying process a lot quicker. So now it's time to begin blow drying. And as you notice, I have one of the concentrator nozzles on the end of my blow dryer. If your blow dryer does not come with one of those, they do have universal ones that you can purchase. Now I'm just gonna go through each section with that large round brush and just pulling some tension onto it just to make it a little easier for when I go in actually flat iron it. I try not to blow dry it entirely too much because I do know that I'm gonna go back in right behind it with some thermal heat. Now that my hair is 100% dry, I like to go back in with my dryer on the cool setting. I feel like this helps with the styling process. Now is the time I like to put in the Moroccan oil. I don't like putting it in when it's wet. I feel like it does better when my hair is dry. Okay, so now it's time to set our smoothing iron. And the thicker your hair is, the higher you want to go up with the temperature. I like to stay at 340. And we're just going to follow the same sectioning pattern as we did with the blow drying process. Now you're going to notice that my sections are going to be a lot smaller than they were when I blow dried it. That's because I want to make sure I get in and get any curls or any waves that I still have left over from blow drying out. And as you can see, I definitely take my time when I pass through each section. You only want to go through each section one time because you definitely don't want to damage your hair with the heat from these thermal irons. I know what you're thinking. Paige is definitely going through some of these sections more than once now. <laughs> I do hit some of those root spots just a couple times because I do have problems with those curling up on me. Now to achieve that voluminous bang in the front, you're going to want to make sure and direct those pieces all the way up and give them more of a dramatic bend.
And now that I'm finished with the flat ironing, I like to go right back in with a little bit more of that Moroccan oil just to finish it off. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you're interested in seeing my curly hair routine, definitely hit the like button down below and comment so I know that you want to see that in the future. And as always guys, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day.